Hello and welcome back to this new episode. So in today's video we'll be listing the user previous commands into our product. So if we go back to the product page, we still see nothing except this like ugly things, right? That we could actually get rid of it. Uh, but anyway, so if uh, we could add this equal to true, true, that's single true, if, else, if, dollar message, come on, I just have to copy it because I'm, again, I'm lazy, equal to false, and that should solve the problem for us, we cannot see this anymore, great, okay, now, we would like to get the list of the previously inserted command. So to do that, below this section, I would like to execute an SQL query. To speed up the process, I will copy this little section. So I will do db execute and I will do select all from and you guess it. So let's add the command to get the previous comments and I will do right there execute so right here I will call this dollar comments equal to that to write the SQL query I have a better idea so I go here and I will simply grab this paste it right here all right and we only need to update one thing which is this PS which is the prefix of the table Okay, I'm having trouble with this. So I will copy this little prefix from here and update the PS right there. Okay, and like so, we are good to go. So I would like to do print error and we have to test this. Okay, something is crashy because I have an extra dash somewhere. And yeah, we have to get rid of this one. Sorry for that. And we have one. So actually here we have to execute and execute as because the execute only return a boolean as indicated here. And the execute as will return an array. And if we do refresh, there you go, we have our array. But there is one condition here to respect that we only have to display commands that are related to our current product so we have to do a where statement where where what where the product id distinguish item equals to the current id so equals to and let's go back and test that everything is fine and to be more uh, like uh, specific about this i would like to update the product id into two and move on to the product with the ID2 by simply changing this. And I'm having only one command that is assigned to this product. Now the next of the task will be just displaying this HTML stuff and let's go ahead and see how to implement it.